and Jeff Hardy's back too. So that which is actually very controversial. You know, it's like, man, you know, it's like everybody likes Jeff Hardy, and I've said this, I've said this like for five years, maybe ten years. Longer than that, Jeff, dude. Everybody likes Jeff Hardy, unlike many people who people don't like. So when they screw up, they don't want him back. Jeff, you know, it's like how many times every promotion, every time we're going back 15 years and, you know, something happens and then he gets the rival promotion, gets him. And then something happens, he goes back to WWE. And something happens and the rival promotion gets him, you know. Um, and it's been an endless cycle of this. And then this time something happened in the rival promotion and... They didn't fire him. They had him go to rehab, and now he's back. And it's like, you know, we all wish that the there will be a happy ending to this story and we will never hear about it again and and all that. But it's like, man, it's like history is history. And, and uh, DUIs, like, you know, it's like it's not even a, you know, it's not even a matter of, of you know, how, and, and, and again, like, you know, he was really bad. His his you know blood alcohol content in that last situation was really bad, and it's like it's one thing if you drink, you know, and that's a problem, you know, when you drink to that level, um, especially with his past and everything that he's gone through. To, that that is a that is a personal problem that he has, but to drive like that with the warning after warning after warning that he's had through his life. Um, man, I, I don't know, man. I, 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 I wouldn't have done it. I mean, it's like, you know, maybe this will be the happy ending, like I said, and, and Tony will be right. And hopefully he is, hopefully his trust is rewarded, but, um, I just, I, I, I mean, you know, it, it was the second time, you know, you go like, man, maybe, but when it's this many times at some point, you just got to go, you know, and I, I, I don't know. Like when he came back, it's like, of course he's going to get over. Of course he's going to get a pop. Um, that's right. It's wrestling. He's a popular wrestler. And um, I don't know. I wasn't uh, just just too much of a track record. And hopefully, like, again, I hope I'm proven wrong. But but man, it's like uh, I don't know. I just and I think that, that you know, it's like how many times? How many times? Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home and I just... I start running the water through my hair and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ron Shear marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret, a mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.